guys, it's Florixie here. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are starting a brand new series on the channel. This is the Not So Berry Challenge. I know I feel like I keep leaving YouTube and like starting new challenges and series and not really finishing them, but I've been having a ton of fun playing The Sims 4 recently, which never happens. And I wanted to start a brand new series on my channel since I really do enjoy Sims 4 right now. And I kind of want to take a little bit of a break from The Sims 3 currently so i decided to start the not so berry challenge if you don't know what the not so berry challenge is it's a 10 generation legacy with berry colored sim all right so here is the official blog post not so berry legacy challenge do you like the rainbow do you like the idea of playing with berry sims but hate berry sims not really <laughs> Do you want to mess around with aspects of the game you've never used before? Boy, do I have a challenge for you. Welcome to the Not So Berry Legacy Challenge, a 10 generation legacy with a focus on bright colors and new experiences. Here are some of the basic rules. Each air must represent the color of generation. For example, hair, makeup, clothing, but brightly colored skin is not necessary. These aren't actually berry sims. That's the joke. Of course, this is optional, but a big portion of the fun. The colors of the spouses don't matter as they aren't a part of the challenge unless otherwise stated. You can do whatever you please with them. Money cheats can be used, but not excessively. Suggestion, read real estate. Um, you may live wherever you please unless specified in the rules. Every generation is supposed to clean complete both career and aspiration of the heir unless explicitly stated otherwise and we're going to keep the lifespan on normal so our first generation is the mint generation you're a mischievous scientist that really loves the color mint you're career driven but still make time for silly pranks and outings with your closest friends you love luxury and want the best for yourself and your family so our traits are vegetarian jealous materialistic our aspiration is chief of mischief and our career is scientist for this challenge we must master the scientist's career and complete the chief of mischief aspiration master mischief and logic skills as well as complete the elements collection i've never officially completed the collections uh, before so i'm really excited to complete the elements collection and i haven't really touched too much in the scientist career so this should be really exciting as well as chief of mischief i really usually hate pranks in the sims but this challenge is going to have to you know we're gonna have to get out of our shell so let me go ahead and introduce you guys to aspen berry so this is miss aspen she is so cute and i kind of i didn't really know what to do with her style if i'm gonna be so honest um when i think of mischief i think of like you know rebel that type of stuff and darker colors um so this is what I went with the first outfit, um, and I literally love her hair. It's so bright, and I love it. <laughs> but let me go ahead and show you her second outfit. This is her second outfit, kind of a little bit more relaxed and chill. Um, not as dark and dingy, but, you know still kind of there i'm not going to show you the rest of her outfits just because you'll see them in game but aspen like the challenge states she must be chief of mischief i also go went ahead and set her favorite color to green she's materialistic jealous and a vegetarian and since i have the five or more traits mod i gave her career orientated these sims are talented in every way when it comes to things involving careers. These sims take their career easily and become inspired very often. They also love having side jobs in order to make extra money, as well as a perfectionist. With the science career, I kind of felt like those were the vibes I was getting. So I just went ahead and applied them to Aspen. So let's go ahead and get into the world. Um, I'm really excited. I haven't really, you know... Like, I've attempted to do the Not So Berry Challenge, but I never recorded it or did anything like that, so I'm really excited. We're also in the world of Hen4 on Bagley, which is the world that came with not, uh, sorry, Cottage Living. So, I don't know. It's really green, and I feel like this would be, you know, a good start for Aspen, since she is our mint sim. Um, as well as this is the newest pack that came out with the game, so... Yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and add free real estate on 
so we can go ahead and move into the house that I downloaded off the gallery and decorated so let me go ahead and show you guys that so this is the woodland fantasy cottage that I did get off the gallery and decorated myself if I can remember um, or find the creator of this house I'll put it on the screen but let me go ahead and show you guys her house this is what it looks like on the outside it's really green and I really am in obsessed and in love with how this house looks um honestly but when we go ahead and head into the front door oopsies let me you know get a little up to sim height you walk in and then you have the kitchen slash little sitting slash living room area um since she's really gonna be busy with her sciences career i feel like i didn't really need to give her such a big space and when she has children and has a spouse or whatever i'll go ahead and expand this house but we will be staying on this lot for this generation um but over here is the entrance to her bedroom which is really green and you know really cute um, we even have little vines on the wall but i really am obsessed with this whole house i feel like it's super aspen and i literally am obsessed and then this door right here leads to her bathroom as well everything in this house is pretty much green slash blue um which i do love but that is aspen's house um it's very quaint very tiny and i'm gonna just go ahead and change her money to like five thousand millions just so she doesn't have too much money because I do enjoy a good struggle. Um, but let's go ahead and push play. Not Wicked Whims. I need to take Wicked Whims out. Uh, when I, I haven't updated it in like forever. So I feel like I should take it out and just have uh, the other version of Wicked Whims. Let's go ahead and give her the scientist career. Calling all brains. Are you ready? Oh, sorry. Are you the nerdy type who aspires to one day wear tin foil on your head and decorate your studio with huge bubbly tanks? A scientist who proves they've got the gray matter to change the world as we know it can unlock new outfits like the UFO hunter or objects like a swanky chemistry lab for concocting new inventions and serums. So we're going to be making $24 an hour, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. as a lab technician awesome let's go ahead and expand this so for our promotion task we need two breakthroughs which i feel like won't be too difficult since sims and the scientist career have breakthroughs pretty often Alrighty, but anyways i feel like we should go ahead and try to have a breakthrough um i know some different ways to get some breakthroughs are from like reading um as well as some having to get them in the shower i'm not sure if i put a bookshelf in this house i did not Ooh. okay well another way is to also garden which we're gonna need to garden um when it comes to our science career so let's just go ahead and open the seed packet we really need roses at least when it comes to um the scientist career but that's fine these are holly's fall no i kind of need them all for summer so should have probably been looking uh does aspen enjoy gardening i'm gonna go ahead and say yes she definitely enjoys gardening and with the location that we are at we also have this little fishing we can fish in this waterfall which we're definitely gonna do um but let me just have her finish planting all of these plants real quick Alrighty, she's now level two what is this what is she going to view all right you do your thing um all righty so we are now level two asking her research gardening on a computer individual plants to unlock information in notebooks water plants in a nearby area i wonder if this house would qual oh my god it's a it's a rabbit i wonder if this house would qualify as tiny living i'm not sure also for our traits and ground challenges we have great soil home studio painting writing i'm gonna change that one in homey um yeah i'm gonna change it i don't know what i'm gonna change it to but <laughs> something else <laughs> um should we do a peace and quiet it's great for reading. I think we might do that. 
Um, ooh, about the science fair. Uh, schedule five means that there's little to strike. Great mind from the study of logic or science rockets. I'm gonna do peace and quiet for now, and I'm guessing. Oh, we have sim simple living. I literally am obsessed with the simple living law trait. I absolutely love it because it makes it more realistic. For sure. But let's see if our house qualifies. Oh my god, it does. Awesome. We're at tier three. Um, which is awesome. I love that. So we'll go ahead and gain trait. Sorry, we'll gain uh skills a lot faster in this uh place, in this home. This little rabbit that I want her to come and discuss hopping techniques with. I feel that could be oh, the rabbit doesn't like us. How about we give it a gift of a flower? We can have one of my bluebells. Oh, how adorable. How absolutely adorable. You know, she's supposed to be like, you know, despising. Oh, the wrong button. Oopsies. She's supposed to be like despising everybody. And here she is giving this rabbit a little tree. I absolutely love that. But anyways, the rabbit did not really enjoy that. Sorry about that, love. Love in the time of sandwiches. Just so that we can get at least one breakthrough. Um, with the mint uh, generation, it's a lot repetitive. Um, so I'm going to be doing a lot of like stuff off camera for sure. We have Ivan Moody. So let's go ahead and say hi to him. Let's give him a respectful introduction as well as Derek McMillan. So we did get a, our first breakthrough, which is awesome. We only need one more to potentially get our uh, promotion at work. But we have to first go to work. And looks like we got a sentiment uh, he thinks we are shallow, and we think he's immature, but we also perceive him as attractive. You know, I have questions. I just want to know. <laughs> but let's go ahead and give him another respectful introduction. You know, make good with good friends with our neighbors. Um, I'm also going to have to get some groceries because we actually don't have any food so let's oh my god an avocado i kind of want an avocado so she can plant it uh not gonna lie but let's go ahead and get some blueberries uh let's get three things in milk uh five eggs some flour and let's see i don't know if we need anything else i'm not sure i'm gonna grab an onion as well as a mushroom in case we do need it to make a potential recipe but for now, that's all we're going to order. But let's go ahead and speak. I don't really like Ivan. I kind of like Derek because he thinks we're cool. So let's thank him for coming as well as theorize about aliens. Everybody's eating the fruitcake. I'm kind of scared to have Aspen eat the fruitcake. Not going to lie. So let's go ahead and shoo him away because they'll just want to stay and want to get a tip which I'm not really down for. I'm gonna have her go to the bathroom very quickly, but I am liking this like little neighborhood vibe that we're getting over here. Not gonna lie. Uh, so I think the fruitcake is good enough to eat. They're not having any reactions to it. So let's see if she likes it. Most of the time my Sims absolutely hate the fruitcake. But, oh, hope you like the fruitcake. It's a family heirloom. I just love detailed things. Oh my god, she actually does. Fruity delicious delicious Was there really any fruit in that cake? Doesn't matter. It was delicious. Usually my Sims hate the fruitcake, but it must be really good. So I guess we'll keep it. Um, let me go ahead and throw these plates away. He's also reading the book that we were reading, but that's fine. That's fine, I guess. Let's go ahead and thank Ivan for coming as well. Um, but let's talk to Derek some more and thank him also for coming. Uh, it's getting kind of late, though, so I kind of want to send them home. Not going to lie. 
but they'll leave after the welcome wagon is over so i guess that's fine let's go ahead and ask ivan about his career he's unemployed okay and let's talk about ivan's family but i'm going to continue to read the book since they'll be going home now uh thanks for hosting um just so tomorrow we can potentially get a oh he's leaving as well so tomorrow we could get a promotion possibly but okay should we go outside and like mess with the fox i'm kind of scared swipey you know maybe not with a name like that i'm gonna have her come over here and water all of her plants though hopefully they don't steal all of our you know plants and it, everything like that hopefully not um but this episode is getting really long which i do apologize for why does she keep doing that oh try to lure out the rabbits cute 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 um i don't know if i should have her go to sleep just yet especially because she does have work at 10 a.m oh and i completely forgot about our chief of mischief we have to be mean and be disliked by two sims i completely forgot about that um but should i have her do some flower arrangement i don't know what to do guys there's literally so much i can do and i don't know where to start <laughs> But I'm also going to get her a laptop, I think, because um, I don't have, like, a computer. And I feel like I need a computer with every house that I have. So, let's see. Let's get this one, possibly. It's kind of messing up my uh, table and decor, but I think that will work. Make sure it is functional, of course because sometimes they're not. So let's just have her come over here and play um, a little bit of Sim Struffle? Sh I can't speak today. Yes, yeah, Scruffle. Alrighty, so it is uh, indeed functional, which is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and have her come eat a little bit more of that fruitcake. Um, before she goes to bed especially since she did enjoy it usually i happen to throw away all the fruit cake but not in this case so let me go ahead and send her off to bed hopefully the bed is functional i haven't play tested this house at all so let's hope it seems like it is awesome Alrighty guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode of the Sims 4 Not So Berry Challenge off here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys!